Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover my life, how I'm tackling debt while prioritizing self-care. Today is the 13th day of debt miss. Today is Strategy Sunday and I'm going to be covering cash envelopes. There are two different types of individuals when it comes to money. People that are natural spenders and people that are natural savers. Cash envelopes create a framework for you to curb spending if you happen to be a natural spender. Cash envelopes are exactly what you think they are. They are cash that you put in individual envelopes that are allocated to certain line items of your budget. There was a study that was completed that when you spend money in cash, the pain centers of your brain are activated. However, when you spend money on a debit card or credit card, they are not. It totally makes sense. When you give a cashier a $20 bill and they only give you back $5, it's like, well, I broke this 20 and now I only have $5. Or if you have a $100 bill, same thing. It's like, why did I break this 100 Because as you break it, it gets easier and easier to spend. Versus when you give someone your debit or credit card, you get that debit and credit card back in its full form. Your balance in the background is becoming less or your credit line is becoming less. However, your brain doesn't register it as losing anything because you're getting the full credit card back and you're getting your merchandise. I'm sure we all experienced the time when we looked at our bank statement and we're like, who made all these purchases? And then when we sit back and think about it, you realize it was actually you. If this is something that you experience on a monthly basis, cash envelopes might be good for you. I'm gonna take you guys through that right now. Okay guys, so I turned you around just so you guys could see what I was doing just because I feel like it, this visual would be a lot easier than if I was to explain it on camera. So let's say it's a single person they want to keep their weekly budget under $200, but they still have to go grocery shopping. They still want to get coffee on their way to work. They have to fill up their tank for gas, um, and they still have to get some Christmas stocking stuffers. And a friend also invited them out for a cocktail this weekend. So I'm going to take $30 and put this in the takeout and coffee cash envelope. I'm gonna take $40 and put this in the gas cash envelope. I'm gonna take $50 and put it in the clothing cash envelope. I'm gonna take $30 and put this in the night out cash envelope. I'm gonna take $50 and put them in the groceries cash envelope. And I'm gonna take $30 and put it in the takeout and coffee cash envelope. So that is all of the cash envelopes. It covers the $200 that we wanna stick under budget. So let's say if you go to get gas and your gas only happens to be $20 a month just because gas prices are pretty low and your car runs really good on gas. You would take the additional $20 and you could either put it towards takeout, clothing, groceries, a night out, or you could just put it in your savings. That's the beauty of it. Like I said in the beginning, if you happen to have spending tendencies, cash envelopes are a really good way to make sure that you're staying within your parameters. Cash envelopes are good for people who struggle with impulse purchases or frankly just don't have self-control. There are some other people that may use them just because they don't utilize a credit card or debit card in their daily usage and just wanted to keep track of things. Um, I personally use a budgeting app so it keeps me on track with what I've already spent, but if you don't want to use a budgeting app, this is a good way to do it. I think cash envelopes are a great way to minimize your expenses, especially if you're new to telling yourself no. I used them in the very, very beginning, and then I slowly weaned myself off just because it didn't work for my lifestyle. I normally didn't carry cash, so it was actually more of a hassle to start to carry it. Also, whenever you do break a bill, you will get change back that you do have to stay on track of. I thought it best to keep track of that in my budgeting app versus in person. And then also, I don't really want to carry change around with me. So I ended up putting all of the loose change 
in like a jar and then at the end of the week I would either allocate it to a certain category or put it towards debt but it just didn't make sense for me. As you guys know I cook with my sister often and we try to mirror each other's meals so when I used to go shopping and you know I had to pay her I wouldn't be able to give her the exact change that she needed and I would end up transferring the money to her anyway. I also work in the city and there are a lot of places that are completely cashless so that also caused a problem and I actually have never been into a physical like gas location to pay. I've always paid at the pump so that was also another flaw to the system for me. Just because cash envelopes didn't work for me and my lifestyle, it does not mean that it can't work for you. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you think you're going to try out this strategy. So that's it for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!